Mohamed Kher Omar is an author and a former member of the Eritrean Liberation Front. He joins me now from Oslo, Norway. Thanks so much for being with us. Whom do you believe right now? The TPLF who says we will win or the government who says we've already won? Uh, I, I think it is very difficult to, um, to say that... Uh, I think both of them, it's very difficult to believe both of them, but I think I incline more, what I could say is that the war has not ended. It is not a mission accomplished. Uh, it is just entering a new phase. Uh, and the reports by the TPLF seem to be a little bit more reliable than what the government says, in my opinion. Okay. You know, you have a rather personal connection, I think, to this conflict. You've actually written about as well how it involves much more than just the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front and the government uh, in Addis Ababa. Help us understand what elements are at play here and what is really fueling this conflict. I, I think uh, both uh, sides take the blame for this conflict. It could have been resolved uh, in a peaceful uh, manner. But uh, I think uh, uh, both sides have been preparing for this. When, uh, when Abiy took over in Ethiopia and uh, the TPLF were not happy that he was not their man and uh, they said he was not uh, fit for the job. And uh, uh, so also the, 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 um, Abiy was keen to get uh, read of the TPLF, as he said in the parliament uh, today, he has been subjected to many things that the security were controlling or uh, how he enters his office. When he leaves his office, he cannot go without their consent. So he said he was just uh, a prime minister in name. So both sides have been preparing for this. And Abi's peace deal with Eritrea, I think, uh, worsened the situation. Because uh, the only thing in common they have between Eritrea and Abiy is that they are both enemies of the TPLF. Mm. And there were some deals, and, uh, and they both Eritrea and Ethiopia, you know what the real agreement was. And uh, Abiy's close uh, relations with, um, with uh, TPLF uh, made the TPLF more aware to be able to prepare for this fight. So I think both of them were preparing for this fight. And so when the TPLF attacked the Northern Command, actually they were uh, taking a preemptive move because it looked like both Abiy and Esias were ready to, to attack the TPLF. Okay. Uh, so you do feel clearly this conflict is set to continue. And we know it's so difficult to really, though, get accurate information on how civilians have actually been caught up in this fighting and how they're faring right now. So how bad do you actually think it is? Would you compare it to what you saw uh, back in the 1980s? And do you think refugee agencies and humanitarian groups will be able to get access to civilians? Uh, I think it is, a, it, is, it is a very different situation now. Uh, so all uh, the actors are uh, different at, uh, at, at present. I mean, the, for example, both uh, the TPLF and the ELF and the EPLF used the Sudan as their base for humanitarian access and even for supplies for arms. And But this uh, now Sudan is in a very situ fragile situation in a uh, transition phase with uh, different actors, the civilian government, the military, uh, and also the rapid deployment forces. As you can see, it is part of the military, but it has own agenda also. So things are quite different than it was before, but the heaviest price will be paid by the civilians. So if the TPLF decides to go on a guerrilla war, what I can uh, say is that this will be a long protracted war. Uh, there is already unrest in Oromia. There is a lot of repression on Oromia. And uh, Abi is uh, jailing journalists and all those who, were, who, were, who could compete with him. And also there is unrest in Venetian Gul, there is unrest in the southern region, there has been ethnic tensions. So I think this will, uh, will uh, actually explode, there will be more of these tensions. As, and the, by, the end, by this war, 
Okay. The greatest news that is Ethiopia will come out very weak from this um, conflict. There has been quite heavy losses on the military. Uh, the TPLF will also be weak, but in the final analysis, it will be Ethiopia in general who will be quite weak because they have lost uh, a lot of manpower and they have lost the resources. They have okay. lost uh, most of the military uh, equipment they have. Mohammed Kher Omar, thank you so much for joining us from Oslo. We, we greatly appreciate it.